Okay, so we've got a machine here that just did its own imaging. I apologize for the quality, but I have no way to capture it other than this. So um, it's up to here, and we need to first get it to um, administrative log on. So I hit Control to delete. I said log off, and I hold down the Shift key during the log off. These are set to automatically log on. So if I just log off, it's going to log right back on. If I hold down the Shift key the entire time, I'm going to get this. And this one says administrator if you can't read it. And this one says user. I'm going to click on administrator and I type in my administrative password, which you will get separately than a publicly listed video. Okay, so some things we've got up here. Um, just so you know, there's three things that we're going to touch. This is the shortcut to where the thin client's connecting. This uh, disables the right protect filter. And this enables the right to protect filter. When we're all done, we want it enabled so that nobody can make any changes and no matter what happens to this machine it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, if it gets turned off, turn on, nothing is permanently written to any drive while the right protect filter is on. Uh, to make any changes that get saved, the filter has to be off. So before you start doing any work, you want to double click on that and there we see the right protect filter is already disabled because on the image we're sending it disabled so that we don't have to disable it because it requires a reboot. So it's already logged on with the right protect filter off and gone to the thin client that this is. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say edit. And so by default, all of them go to trail R dash MS. Uh, that is the remote trail server, hence trail R. And MS is the one that's the kind of the super server in the closet in the middle school. However, there's many rooms that have their own. And so if, if this was going to the middle school, I would let it boot up like this. I would log on. Um, I would confirm that we've done all the checks. Um, and this is what the checks look like. If I double click on this and it connects straight up, then I've already saved all the settings and I'm happy and good to go if this is going uh, indeed to the middle school closet. And uh, in which case I would just be able to minimize that and click enable. However, if you're in any of the room, other rooms, you're not going to the middle school closet, we need to change that. I'm going to go ahead and close this. We need to change this to the room that it's actually going to. So I'm going to right click and say edit. And this time we're going to simulate that we're going to be setting this one up for, ah, we're going to say Apex. So it's trailer Apex in there. We would hit save to make sure we save the, that and because the right protect filter is off, it is saved. And then we're going to connect and these are the screens that we're going to get that we have to check the do not display this again and connect. And so it's doing that and then it's going to come up with another screen that says, ah, are you sure? Don't display this again. Check mark that and say yes. Now. What we just did only affects the administrative logon. It does not affect the user. So now we need to log off. And it's going to log off and it's going to log on as the user and we're going to check mark those exact same questions. We're doing this as the user so that it gets saved so they don't get these questions every time they log on. So we're going to say don't ask this again and say connect and then it's going to come up with the next one. And we're going to say, don't ask this again. And we're going to say, yes, now. And now it's going to come up to that screen. Now, I'm just going to minimize there. Now, because the right filter is off, it saved those settings. And there's nothing down here in the right-hand corner that says it's installing drivers. Because that's one of the other things we want to make sure is done before we turn on the right protect filter. If both those are done, then I'm going to log off again. And I'm going to hold down the uh, shift key. Because now I've set it up for the room it's going to. I have um, saved those settings as both the administrator and as the user. And now I'm going to log back on as the administrator. And I am going to enable the right protect filter, this green button. And as soon as I click on that, it's going to restart and I'm done. I've set the room. I've saved the room. I've saved the settings to the profile to log onto the room without keeping asking if it's okay. And I've let it install the drivers 
and that specifically is the keyboard and mouse drivers for the system where it's now sitting, which is why we want to do this in the location where it's actually being deployed so that it gets the keyboard and mouse drivers for the keyboard and mouse that it's plugged into, which also means you want to have it plugged in the right spot because if students move them from the front to the back, it's going to think it needs new drivers. So anyway, when we're done, we just click that enable filter and all it does is it reboots and we're finished. If we came up to the system that we need to switch, the only difference between what we did now uh, and what we would have to do is we'd have to log on as the administrator and disable the right protect filter. It would have to reboot. It takes like three and a half minutes for the full reboot on these. Um, and then we go through these exact same steps. So that's why it's sent with the right protect filter off uh, and why we do it the way we're doing it. That is it as far as the steps to make sure that a wise thin client is going to the right remote system and that it is all set up with all the drivers and all the questions answered.